In this video, I want to talk about digital props and why I think they really are better than physical props. Now, that's not to say physical props don't have value. There's definitely something to be said for having a physical props table uh, with a bunch of props uh, laid out that people can look at, grab, try out, see how they look, uh, see what they think of them before they take their picture, uh, and then really make them a part of the, the overall how they stage their photo when they take it with the photo booth right at that time. However, digital props definitely have a ton of advantages over physical props, and that's what I want to talk about in this video. So the first one is that digital props are far and away cheaper. Uh, physical props, even the cheapest physical props, they still cost money, whereas digital props, uh, sure, you can pay for images if you really want to, but there's a ton of free options out on the internet. Um, there is licensing uh, that you, you should be paying attention to. Uh, make sure whatever you use is uh, licensed for commercial purposes. And if you want to change it, make sure it's licensed for uh, modification as well. Uh, but for the most part, you can find a lot of good free options. Just download them from the internet. The only thing you're spending is your time to, to curate them. Secondly, they last a whole lot longer. Digital, it never decays. Physical props, they are going to break down over time. Even the highest quality physical props, eventually you're going to need, them, need to replace them. Uh, either because they get old, they start falling apart, or because they get dirty. And that's our next point, which is physical, digital props are a lot easier to clean than physical props. Uh, some physical props uh, do lend themselves to being uh, cleaned. Plastic is really easy to clean. Um, if there's something uh, you know that's just straight fabric, you might be able to wash it in a washing machine. Um, but some of the more complicated props just get more difficult to, to clean. A physical prop, uh, technically there's nothing to clean there, but realistically the screen, the touch screen, if you're using a touch screen or a computer, computers tend to be a whole lot easier to clean. Uh, just use an alcohol wipe and you're good to go. Uh, next thing is that Digital props open up a whole bunch of new options. Sure, there's a way to uh, add digital props at the photo booth, uh, but because they're digital, you can open up new options to add props later, add props after you've received the photo. Um, basically, the sky's the limit, whatever you want to do there. Whereas with the physical prop, once you've chosen the prop and taken your picture, that's it. You can't change what you've done with the prop. It's it's set in stone essentially. And finally, uh, this, this point is more relevant to our current time when this video is being recorded, uh, but in summer 2020 I think digital props are going to be better for uh, summer events than physical props are for all the reasons that I mentioned before. Uh, but realistically being able to clean a, a screen, wipe it down after every person uses it, uh, whatever your process is, you know, please stay safe and please uh, do your part to prevent the spread of, of any of any diseases and that sort of thing. Um, but for summer 2020, I think the digital props, even if you have to have people touching a touch screen, is going to be a lot better. People are going to feel a lot more comfortable about it than using uh, physical props. So th those are my five thoughts on why digital props are better. Uh, if you have other uh, reasons you like to use digital props, definitely leave a comment below. If you think physical props are better and you have your reason uh, why, why uh, digital props just don't uh, hold a candle to physical props, also leave a comment below. I want this to be a discussion about digital versus physical and uh, have both sides represented. So go ahead and leave a comment below, uh, like this video, share it with your uh, friends and uh, you know other people in the photo booth industry who might not have already seen the video. And uh, let's, let's get a discussion going. Uh, please subscribe to the channel as well. I post a lot of videos about both what I'm doing and some ideas that I think are more general to the, the photo booth industry as a whole. So thanks for watching this video, and I'll catch you in the next one.